Sherry, what are you doing here? I'm on protective detail. Yeah. I heard you became an agent. Why are you here? I'm tracking the man behind all this. Chief Security Advisor Simmons. What? Th there must be some sort of mistake. I report to Simmons. He's your supervisor? We're on our way to meet with him right now. Where is he? Uh... I need to know... Hey, Jake! Let me handle this. But your orders were to avoid contact with anyone. Leon's not just anyone. He saved my life back in Raccoon City. Fair enough. Look out! So, we've now ran into two of the other main characters of the game, Jake Mueller and Sherry Birkin. And their main antagonist of their story, the Ustanank. There'll be plenty of time to talk about these characters when we get to their story. Uh, the Ustanank will try and capture Jake. If you go up to the Ustanank while he's captured Jake, you will have a prompt and you'll be able to save him. Um, Jake will eventually get out of captivity, so there's no there's no chance of the Ustanag actually capturing Jake, so that's a good thing. But yeah, this is the first time that we've really ran into another character. And, uh, even though, you know, they're not technically characters we can control right now, we can only still control Leon or Helena, Sherry and Jake will give you assistance, you know, Sherry just revived me there. And Jake can do the same. Uh, this is a fun fight. Uh, it's not really winnable because this character can't be killed right now. And uh, there he goes, kidnapping Jake again. Oh, Jake. I don't know who your father is, but I'm sure he would not be proud of this. Just, I don't know, something about your father. I don't know the guy, but I'm sure he would be very disappointed. So the Usenake will run away, which gives you some time to get some items. It's good to stock up, see if you can't get some herbs. Helena will stick with you, she's not gonna like go off and try and join Jake and Sherry on their wild adventure, but make sure everything is reloaded. And now we're gonna head over to uh, where Jake and Sherry are to progress this this little area. So now we're kind of going to be forced to do a little bit of a partner swap. Are you okay? Compared to Raccoon City, this is a walk in the park, right? We'll see the other part of, of this boss battle when we eventually do Jake and Sherry's campaign, since we will be playing as Jake. Right now we need to fix this bus, and Sherry, for the love of God, Please do not let Leon drive this thing. I think I can fix this. Sherry, get behind the wall. Well, I have no problem with you fixing it, Leon. It's driving it that I would have a problem with. Although I think Leon might have actually taught Sherry how to uh, drive. Okay, let's move. Roger.
Great job, Sherry. I don't know if that was planned or not, but yikes. Uh, these things you can push down and you can use them to, uh, you know, create explosive barrels, pretty much, and you can shoot them, but it's not really that important, because again, you can't really win this. This is more of a scripted fight. I don't know if it goes on, like, a specific amount of damage that the Usune can take, or if it just goes on for a specific amount of time. Come on, Leon, get down there. Whoa, that was a close one. I had my knife out, probably shouldn't do that. Now he's gonna try and attack us using a different strategy now, so be careful of this. Carries around a spare. At least he came prepared. So he whoa. Who did that? So now he's got a grabby arm. Uh, he's still not really that much of a problem. As long as you keep moving and shooting him, he's not really gonna attack you that 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 easily. Hi, Jake. Good work, Helena. I have nothing more to contribute to this. You guys got this. We'll be seeing more of the Usanek and Jake and Sherry sh campaign, so look forward to that when I get to it in two years. after the plane went down. I linked in a minute ago, but you weren't picking me up. Listen, the building Agent Birkin mentioned isn't far off. Just stick to your current route, okay? Got it. Thanks. So, we are now in China. Uh, this isn't a very accurate representation of China, because there's not nearly enough pollution. I kid, I kid. No, I don't. Seriously, the pollution there is terrible. Uh, this is a fairly long level, I guess. You got it. Sherry said she was meeting Simmons in the Kun Lung building. The first thing you're gonna need to do is cut through the outdoor market up ahead. So there is a serpent emblem in this area. I'd say this is actually the hardest one to get. Cause you would not think to look over there. You just gotta really pay attention. Good work. Always got to give Helena some positive uh, reinforcement there. Oh, Leon killed a chicken. Didn't you learn from Resident Evil 4, Leon? Oh no, a scary shadow. This way. Was that? So we're going to get introduced to a fairly annoying uh, enemy in this level. And it's also another one of those, okay, it's ripping off of other Resident Evil games. Because it wants to, you know, do that again, because that worked uh, in the other games. But I'll talk about that more when we get introduced to it. Ah, oh, great. Three separate locks. Jesus. Alright. Let's just figure out a way to open it. This is one of the most ridiculous things in the game, also. I just want to point that out. I guess that's why the whole street is on lockdown. The residents are trying to keep it out. 
Well, this one is different. Well, that's a new trick. Uh, so this is a Ross Japlanke. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, there are a lot of just unholy, awful names to pronounce in this game. But the Ross Japlanke is this game's version of the Regenerator. Because of course it had to have a Regenerator enemy. Although unlike the Regenerators, these things actually like legitimately can't die. They'll always keep coming back. Uh, in terms of design, I don't think they're as creepy as the Regenerators. Uh, regenerators will probably always be the creepiest enemies in Resident Evil for me. But, uh, I don't know, Rastaplanke is... Like, Rastaplanke is okay. Oh, hi, hello. <laughs> oh, what is happening, even? Okay. Helena, can we just please get through this door? I don't feel like dealing with the Rastaplanke. Also, some of his body parts can uh, detach sometimes. Helena, please. Oh my god. Now, I'm just getting annoyed at this point. Come on. I didn't want to have to just fight him, but I guess I have to now. Uh, if you keep shooting them, you will stun them for a little bit, but they will eventually get up. Like I said, they aren't like the regenerators because they legitimately can't die. Oh my god, Helena. Never has opening a door been so hard. Now, as soon as you grab the key, another one is going to spawn, so... Get whatever's in there before you grab the key. Look at that, a padlock key. One down, two down. Uh, this area is also really confusing because there are a lot of locked doors... Um, in areas that you have to go up to. So, I really don't like this part. Although, if you get a uh, Rastaplanke hand coming at you, you can actually throw it in a microwave. This is amazing. That is one of my favorite little things in this game. Like, you have to be in a really specific place to do it. And I, I just, I don't know, I love that. So where we want to go right now is up the ladder that we passed not too long ago. But right now there's a Serpent Emblem right there. So there's a ladder right around here that we passed up over there it is. All we have to do is go up here and then we're going to have to send Helena on her own. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. This part can go on a little long if you don't know what you're doing. No, no, no. I don't want the Rasha Planke. Helena, I want you. I don't want a Rasha Planke as my uh, partner. That wouldn't be very fun. Oh my god. What is even happening? Come on, Helena. Go across, please. Oh my god. These things are so annoying. Yeah. Regenerators are scary. Rasha Plankes are just... Uh, annoying. And again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who knows? I've never heard it pronounced any other... Well, I haven't heard it pronounced at all. And again, I just have to point out, there's no way Helena would be able to make that jump. Hold on. I'll open it. Come on. So now we gotta find where Helena is and go through that door, and then we'll be able to get the third and final key and finally get out of here, but oh my god, why? That was in first person, by the way. I'm not sure why. Now I'm all turned around. There you are, Helena. Alright, let's go down here, though. You can get really turned around in this area because, like I said, there's a lot of doors you can't uh, unlock, and everything looks the same. So that's my big complaint with this area. Please get over here before I get annoyed by another Rastaplanke. Thank you. And yet another one is going to be in this area. Now, before we exit this area, there's a really funny death animation that I just have to show. It is quite possibly the funniest death animation 
in the entire series. So it activates once you get in here. There's going to be a quick time event once you get to a certain point in this area, and I'm just not going to press any buttons. I'm going to let it happen because it is hilarious. Well, here we go. Best animation in the entire game. <laughs> that has to be the most embarrassing way to die. I love how the Rasta Planke, it goes down with Leon. Like, what is this? What's happening? But yeah, just gotta be quick about that one. I'd say that you actually might, on the first time, get that death animation on accident. Uh, just because they don't give you a lot of time to react to the R1 prompt. So, I'd actually be willing to bet that you've probably seen that animation your first time through. But I just, I love this. It's the most hilarious thing in the game, seriously. But anyway, um, that's about it for this video. We're going to go through the door and uh, start another cool part of this level. This part is the only part that I really don't like. It's just, I hate the Rasha Plankes and looking for keys.